Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. It's uh, not a weekend show, but we've got some pre-order news that we want to get out there. So bear with me a second while I uh, do some shilling. Then we are going to get on with the show. First off, I want to apologise for the lack of AOS content. It's been a lot on and we haven't had a lot of news because it's been mostly 40k with the Vigila stuff. But I got something to talk about now, so I want to share it with you. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more information as well ongoing with other stuff on the year horizon. So, hopefully, that content will get back up to scratch. Wednesday is going to be yet another Blood Bowl video. I hope you all are enjoying that as much as we are enjoying playing the game. So, it's been a great fun doing that just a reminder we have got a teespring account and at the moment it's uh it's just the channel stuff but come in sunday will be the rbbl t-shirts and hoodies and that so you'll be able to support the league doing it that way and yeah uh, before I carry on, I want to say a big thank you to the Ron the Gaming Club for allowing us to host our Blood Bowl games there and allowing us to video. Hopefully I'll be able to do a, a few more videos with them. But uh, for now, they're, they're happy just for us to do uh, Blood Bowl. But that's not why you're here. You're here because we have had information about the Corn pre-release. So... Without further ado, let's get on with the show. Right then, guys, we're going to work in ascending order of great news. As you can see on the screen, we've been told our flesh hounds are coming out. We also got word that Karnak is coming out as well. So we haven't waited long since Wrath and Rapture, which is always a good sign. So, fingers crossed that means Slanesh is not going to be long either. So... It's all good news, and it's all coming up uh, chaos, which is always good. But uh, today we're talking blood for the blood god. So we've got our dogs and our boss dog, the alpha. I'm going to be guessing they're going to be coming in at twenty-five pound. Karnak's kind of be coming in at eighteen to twenty because that seems to be the recent pricing. But who knows? Are you excited that they've come out this quick? Are you not bothered? Do you think my pricing is a little off? Let me know down below. Because I'm just so excited. Because these models were fantastic. I managed to get my hands on Wrath and Rapture. And they are just a fantastic model to put together. But I digress. This is the least exciting news. We're going to work our way up. So. Dogs are coming Dogs of War have been uh, released on Saturday, so let's see what else is going to be released. Right, next up on the list, guys, we have got the new Blades of Corn Battle Tome. I put this next because we knew they was coming, and we know there's going to be War Scrolls, and if we're quick enough, we can get a limited edition art cards to go with it. We knew that was coming, but... Like I said in a previous video, I feel this could have waited. There's other armies that could have done with a battle tome. Like I mentioned them earlier, Slanesh. They still haven't got a battle tome. So it would have been nice to see that. Fingers crossed they'd be coming soon. But this is like the third corn battle tome to be released. So it's. It's nearly as bad as the Stormcast Eternals, but these are not new chambers. It's the same corn models, just with expanded rules. So it could have waited. Like I know, I know there's a lot of armies that have come out now and they've benefited from endless spells. But 
nobody takes a core army looking at spells so this could have waited so like we got uh, other armies that are completely busted and nobody likes playing like uh, Kahadun overlords they could have done with you know an update we got uh, we got elves that could have done with updates because we've got the uh, Cain we've got Sylvaneth perhaps the Elven Council could have done with one but who am I to judge I'm getting the extra battle tone I should be happy and I am going to be happy because for everything that I've complained about with A they are correcting what they've done in the last one so all the rules are going to be expanded all the law is going to be up to date to say about what's happening during the Soul Wars saga and hopefully it's not going to be as restrictive I still think demons are going to be on the back burner it's going to be mostly your troops but I shouldn't complain because we've we get get new new codex I uh, battle to codex 40k sorry it's old old uh, names stick in your head so, because of my, all my rambling, I just want to clarify now. The new the new battle tome comes with expanded uh, War Scroll Battalions. It'll come with a, a new rules or revised rules. And for all you hobby enthusiasts that like to go back into the lore, it's all up to date for Soul Wars. So, let me know, do you think that this is a little bit too soon for corn do you feel there's other books that could have benefited from it do you agree with me that perhaps slanish should have come first um or is it another army that you would have uh, thought would have been released first let me know in the comments below and yeah we can uh, have a chat about it over the week Right guys, next up, something that's completely taken me by surprise. Um, I don't know whether I missed this. I don't know whether you guys knew about it and I completely missed about it. Or if you guys are surprised by this. But there's a new Herald mo model that's come out. It's not called a Herald. It's, they come straight out and say it's a Bloodmaster. So I don't know whether that means the old Herald's gone. And this guy's replacing it. Or if this is just an alternative. So, it's a nice looking model. He's got, you know, a very ornate look. You can see he's better than just a normal bloodletter. Which, if you've got an army of demons, you you really need them to stand out. So, I've said previously, I think these guys are... They're good. They're very subtle, but they're good. Especially if they can drag in other bloodletter units in after they've attacked and then they they can attack always always worth having one or two of these in your army i got a feeling that i'm going to be pre-ordering this guy because he looks he looks badass i might do live streams where i'm painting him because i do actually like the look of this guy because uh, yeah i said i'm going to do the guy from the skull cavern and turn him into a blood master but if i do that i got two blood masters so this is fantastic this gives us a a new look a beefier looking model as well by the look of it are you guys not that bothered by it are you guys semi-interested in it in it let me know down below Personally, I just think this is amazing, especially with all the extra armor that you don't see on other other heralds. So, yeah, it's a fanta fantastic looking model. I'm kind of hoping in the next week we see 3D images, see the all round on him. And if we do, I shall let you know in extra videos. And guys, this is where I get a little bit biased this is going to be my favorite model of what they've given us as a sneak peek for the pre-releases 
He's a skill taker. And i got to be honest with you, I am so in love with this model. I am going to be biased on you. I think this is probably one of the better models they've come out. I'm not saying for the big pieces. Saying for the little HQs. Because at the end of the day, he's still a bloodletter. But he is Korn's favoured bloodletter. He is a mini-me to him. He is out there taking names, taking skills. So, what's not to like about this model? It's just fantastic. He's got a very commanding pose. You can see that he's calling his army to charge the enemy. The detail on it is amazing. If you look at the brass armour, so it kind of resembles something smaller but similar to a bloodthirster. You can see he's got a cloak with the underneath is going to be corn symbol. Perhaps later on in the week we'll see other articles showing the back of him as well. So you can see the, all the skulls that are on there. We may get points changed with him like we did with the flesh hounds because they had extra rules. Perhaps Skull Taker is going to change in that same uh, vein. Who knows? But it doesn't matter. This is a fantastic model. And I know it's by us. I'll be picking this guy up straight away. He is going to be on live streams with me. Because I will be making a point of showing you me painting this model. Because that's just an amazing. And that sword held up high. Because he is going to be the one that stands out in your army. A fantastic let me know am i right am i wrong is this model all that or it's nothing at all am i just being a angry fanboy you let me know that's what the comment section is there for right guys after i've just shown you my favorite this is going to be the one that confused me the lot the most um they look like ender spells but as we know, Corn does not like wizards. Corn hates magic. It's for the weak. It does not help you in glorious hand to hand combat. Like the Dark Gods intended. Where you're fighting tooth and claw and fist and clubs and anything to take that skill off. But anyway, I'm digressing. I am fanboying out again. Because it's corn and corn, corn is great. Corn is the best. But what we know now is we and uh, everyone else has got in the spells. We have got judgments of corn. From what the article is saying, it's only slaughter pe uh, slaughter priests that can use this. So. It's, it's very limited. They have got some really good uses by the sound of it. Because we know the skulls are called hexagore skulls. And according to the article, the hexagore skull causes wizards to forget spells entirely. So it's one way of stopping wizards taking all taking a foothold on your army i personally prefer an all demons list because i used when i was younger when i started in warmer fantasy my first proper army was an all corn demons list so i'm kind of going back to that and it's not going to be any good for me but i can see why people would do the mix or do an all um, human army but yeah slaughter priests can use these the other one is the the wrath axe so it is, that causes damage so again that's going to be used like an ender spell perhaps it's like a predatory ender spell where it's just going to hit units but the interesting fact that came out in the article I don't know whether it's me that just finds this interesting or if anybody else did. It states wizards can't dispel this like the other end of spells. They haven't said how they get dispelled, but you could potentially you could 
call upon the skulls get wizards to forget spells and then they're no good and they're still going to be there taking pot shots at everyone because wizards can't dispel them there's going to be another way that you've got to do it so um yeah it's going to be interesting i'm going to look out for extra articles this week and see what uh, happens so it's going to be yeah it's going to be interesting stay tuned and we will find out more together right guys i've saved it to the last and as you know no release is complete without terrain for corn that comes in the form of the skull altar it's a good looking uh, train piece it's a big brass dais steps and infamous corn bunny ears so it's like the the altar to the skull bunny it's said in the article that it gives the chance for the slaughter priest to re-roll praise and judgments so it's not as good as going to be the the uh, flare sheet of court one where they get the free summons but it's still very effective but it also has a disrupting abilities for nearby wizards so if you could stick this in the middle of the board it's going to have some type of effect on the wizards of, of the army that's coming towards you so between that and say the judgments where you can make them lose spells it's a very it sounds like it's going to be more effective at taking away the magic phase which is useful for corn because we don't use it so so what is your view on the blood bunny skull altar do you like it do you think it's a little bit underwhelming do you not see it being as effective as i am trying to make it out to be let me know in the comments and already this is going to be day one of articles it sounds like there's going to be a nice little revamp already i'm not going to say anything until i get the book in hand or book in app i should say but yeah it's going to be a nice week of articles showing us what corn is up to so i hope that you stay with me all week and we can go through it together and work out what corn has to offer in the soul war saga so stay tuned okay then you malevolently sexy people that's the end of the video short one for me actually no it's but average for me sorry we're gonna keep on top of the articles but it's already looking good for us if you're like me and you think corn is just fantastic it seems like we are gonna be in for a treat if you think we're in the wrong you're probably laughing at us already but you let me know because that's what the comment section is there for and I can't wait to talk more about corn because yeah corn is the embodiment of every everything you think of when it comes to dark gods and I know it's, it must be the demonic hellish look on them that's always kept me interested in them but i digress it's the end of the video i'm not going into why i started the corn army when it was one well, of fantasy battles and i'm not going to tell you when i collected them because it'll age me dr dramatically so i'm going to call the video now and i'm going to say thank you to everyone that's watched the video i want to give a shout out again to the rom the gaming club for allowing us to video there and I just want you guys to know we have a Teespring account. So you, if you want to get your noob wear on, yeah, that's the first place to go. Also, come Sunday, we will be releasing 
uh, the RBBL logo to put on t-shirts and stuff so you can support the league and hopefully we get more videos out on that we've also got PayPal and Patreon it's I'm gonna say thank you in advance if you do use it if you just watch the videos and share it amongst your friends that's even better so we want to get our subscriber count up we want to get our views up so pass it around your, your friends and we will get more content out there is there some and also is there something you would rather us do different is there something you want us to cover that we're not covering at the moment let me know in the comments and we see what we can do we'll see if we can change up the format a little bit to, to accommodate everyone because we're going to try and be there for everyone because we say it's a community channel run by the community for the community so i want to say thank you again guys for being with me and i shall see you in the next video and remember everybody blood for the blood god skulls for the skull throne. See you next time.